my Adele is our theme music. So apparently this place. We have a seat tacked in. Not only is it tacked in, but we also have the rails. So it's not just meant for me, which was the original talk that it could only fit me, which is like, this is Cinderella's glass slipper. I'm Cinderella. But I guess my uh, ugly stepsisters can also sit in this car too. The man, analogies, cap. man. My brothers, yeah, I'm hitting people with the analogies. <laughs> the only downside is the seat sitting up forward more, as you can tell, just won't work with a helmet. Thankfully, I like the low ride. What is nice is like, you look through these holes, we're gonna have tabs on this bar right back here for the uh, harness. The seat is holding me this way, the harness is holding me this way. I'm wedged in there. Yeah, he said he got this one set up so all the uh, housings are inside the car instead of outside. outside. So here's the previous setup, here's the new setup. Same company, Willwood. Normal swing, reverse swing. But the setup, unsurprisingly, looks like this and this. Imagine it like that, these units are inside the car instead of way out here. Let's go take it to the car and test it out. So my feet end up somewhere right in here. And look at that. That is where the cylinders end up being. No bueno. Let's try this. Much more room. That touches there, but that's gonna swing closer to me. You know, because it's a reverse swing. This thing right here is going towards the passenger. It's not getting closer to the bar. Oh, it's so nice not having to balance the seat up. Oh, oh my, oh yes. That feels really good. So here's my vision, and it's really dusty, but you can actually see the hood. You can see a lot of the car. <laughs> you look so short because the car is way up in the air. But yeah, so point to the top of the headlight you can see the headlight so yeah we're, we're in shape I was worried about that you know this is an ideal moment because this is for particularly for the patreon members the ones that spent the most those of you crazy enough to do this you have more room than I do right here some of you guys are crazy enough to ride in this passenger seat you're covered with metal so you're safe compared to the three-wheeler I won't take people in the three-wheeler I just don't the drive shaft is something like right there, carbon fiber, but you're not gonna see it. It's gonna be underneath steel, so that way if it splinters, you know, breaks off, there's a drive shaft loop and all that other sort of shit hidden underneath there. I don't want you accidentally getting your foot, setting your foot on your... <laughs> I am extremely pleased with where we're at right now. Next week, uh, he just told me Tuesday, so four days from now in terms of what we're filming, the other seat gets welded in, the brake pedals actually get welded in, even though we know they're gonna fit and they'll be fine. Tow links, so that way the rear wheels don't camber out, it's like a reverse steering wheel almost, and the car goes on the ground. All right, we're making some serious progress on the brakes, getting them actually tacked in right now. Check this out. Yeah, this looks so cool having more things. You can see it's real flimsy, but yeah. you can kind of, here, let me put it. I'll kind of hold that down with my elbow. I can only go up a little bit. Up a little bit would be would be useful, because yeah. my pad and my feet yeah, yeah, is yeah, up yeah. here. Because I can go up maybe three-eighths of an inch. Can, are you able to go back? Um, I Yeah, I can change the plate and go back. But I can see if I go with this taper here, yeah. if I come back, I can't go up as high. Um, up or back? Uh, like a little bit of both. More so back because my knees are way up. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. Uh, the farther back I come, the lower we get because um, of the taper to be this far over. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to start cheating that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which we don't want to because of the gas pedal. Right. Yeah, further back we go, my knees will come down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Again, this, this bar right here, which is excellent for uh, rigidity, is still our limit as to how far back and up we can put the brake pedals. I'm preferring to go back further because my knees come down and then I can kind of pedal like this. Otherwise, my feet are vertical. You ever have it, if you guys drive you know, manual vehicles and you're holding your foot up like this, this starts to hurt after a while. If you're building your own car, you're allowed to complain and make it perfect. I want my feet to be at a lower angle, which means the, pe the actual pedal can be lower. Like, you're seeing a lot of content about this, but this makes such a big deal. Everybody at Ford, Chevy, all those companies, probably a team of people's job is where the seat sits, where the pedals are, where the steering wheel is, safety of it, ergonomics. This is actually a pretty big deal. I'm gonna see. This is an interesting piece. Backmost, everything. This is the most I can. Wow, that is low. And then now I feel like I'm stretching to get through those pedals. Be shiny. Look at the 
background. You see you got buffing in it behind you. <laughs> you want to try it? Congrats, buddy. I, I got this whole car built for you. Dude, really? Yeah, yeah, this is like those typical YouTubers. Dude, I bought you a car. Congrats, man. This car is yours now. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty that's cool. as high as we can go right there. Yep. What's cool is we can move this pad this way. Is the adjustment? Yeah, yeah. So I can move the pad this way. I can move these closer together a little too. So I'll get this side up a little bit. Yeah, I can get one hole or I can get two. Yeah, probably one. One, yeah. Okay. That helped a lot, huh? Yeah, massively. Because now you have like plenty of room for the gas pedal, it looks like. And I mean, fine tuning. We yeah. can still move this plate over. That would feel really It'd good. Perfect. Yeah, I think we got a winner. Drop it like an inch, so not this full tube width. Yeah. But that inch would give you. Mm -hmm. and it's funny because that actually would feel good to have my heels resting yeah. on that because oh, my no. knees are so. For sure. Are off. You kind of hold your butt in the seat. Yeah. We're gonna have to do our own kind of steering shaft, I think. We can weld all this stuff up, and then once I do this, we're on the ground. Like yeah, that, that works really well for me. Yeah. To secure the collar part, yep. we're gonna put this up here. Yeah. And snake it around. The brakes are on the front and the back, right? Yes. The, but we gotta come out of here somewhere. We're gonna have to figure out a spot to drill and tap these and come to this tube. We're gonna try and get it as wide of an angle with the tire. Yeah. Now it goes up and down, so we just have to make sure we don't bind there. It's not like it's gonna steer. We'll probably add a tube, you know, or whatever we have to do to pour that, yep. you know, to kick it out. Because if we can come back like that, yeah, that would be good, yeah. you know? At least we have one vehicle that doesn't have rotary affecting its life. It's obviously the four rotor car but the chassis is what we're working on right now we've got the brakes coming in we've got the rest of the chassis finished and at this point it's a chassis that's that's as far as I, my emotions are a little rough right now but we have an all-wheel drive vehicle being built